Downtown West Palm Beach up I-95 here and uh, beautiful display. Of course, fireworks will be going here tomorrow at 9 o'clock there. Waterfront, you have the ones in Lake Worth. We have them all over the place here in South Florida for you to get out and enjoy some out west too. Uh, right now, we're winding down and any thunderstorm action. There's just one left over just uh, east of Tampa. Temperatures right now, oh, finally some 70s. Fort Pierce dropped to 78 degrees elsewhere. It's still sweltering into the middle 80s. Lows tonight, mid 70s for the uh, Treasure Coast, but still near 80 for the Palm Beaches, so it's staying a pretty warm night tonight. Tomorrow, it's going to be hot for your 4th of July. 94 Vero, 106 is the feels like temperature in the afternoon. Notice everybody in the triple digits for the uh, feels like temperature, the heat index and actual temperatures in the low 90s. So hot, humid, peak heating between noon and four o'clock. That's when you'll see the triple digit heat indices. So if you are outside during those times, uh, you want to drink plenty of water, rehydrate and find some AC if you can to help cool down or at least some shade to help cool you down here. Uh, for the 4th of July celebrations, the afternoon cookouts, we're, we'll have a couple of thunderstorms out there, but they'll mainly be, say, 441 westward, middle afternoon, early mid afternoon, and then pushing farther westward and even past the lake. By the time we get the fireworks time, everything is west of our area, and we're going to see partly cloudy skies and looking good. It's just going to be hot. Temperatures in the mid 80s. So the morning, just fine. There are a the couple of shower storms on the sea breeze pushing westward. Not a ton of them, maybe a little bit around the lake around six, seven o'clock dinner time hours and then everything gone by uh, nine, 10 o'clock fireworks time across our area. Rain chance is staying somewhat low for the next couple of days. We do bump it up though as we change the flow more to the southwest, which will push everything back towards our coast. And so we'll see shower chances jump up Thursday and Friday over the weekend. A little bit iffy because we do have some of that Saharan dust moving on in, but we also still have the southwesterly flow, so we're keeping some rain chances going. But nothing in the tropics worth watching here. We have a tropical wave here near Nicaragua, one around Barbados just entering the Caribbean, another one coming off the coast of Africa. None of those expected to develop right now. Beach and boating forecast really good for tomorrow. I know it's a big boating day and enjoy it. Looking fantastic out there on the waters with just a, a light wind. It may pick up a little bit in the afternoon and get a little choppy for you. Low to mid 90s all the way through the rest of the week. Uh, Independence Day looking good. Wednesday looking good. Thursday, Friday, better rain chances and still hang on the scattered showers and storms, but hazy over the weekend.